In this video today, I want to show you how we can optimize a pipeline simulation. So in the simulation I have open, we have three inlet streams. First off, we have a gas and a condensate stream that are mixing together and then going through a length of pipe before they reach another mixing station where we add in this third feed stream. Once that mixture is complete there, we send it through some more pipeline and onto our facility. And so the way we've specified this simulation is we've entered in our inlet pressures and then had Promax calculate a final pressure for us. In this simulation, we've calculated a final pressure of about 517 PSIG. Now, oftentimes in your simulations, instead of entering inlet pressures and calculating a final pressure, you might already know what the final pressure is or know what the final pressure needs to be at your facility. And you might want Promax to then back calculate the original pressures for you so you know what pressure your feeds need to be at. And that is something that we can do in Promax. I'm going to show you how we can use a combination of specifiers and solvers to make that happen. So what we want to do here, the first thing we want to do is we want to tell Promax to always keep the gas pressure and the condensate pressure the same. So we have here a mixer, and when these two streams mix together, they're going to need to be at the same pressure. And so right now, I've just manually typed in the same pressure in both streams. But I would like for Promax to automatically update the gas stream pressure so that it always equals the condensate pressure. And I can do that by using a specifier. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double click on my condensate stream. And here where I have this pressure, I've typed in 600 PSIG. This is what I want Promax to match the gas pressure with. And so I'm going to right click here on this pressure and go to add, add to short moniker list. This is essentially going to make a shortcut to this property. And so I can find it really quickly as I go to make my specifier. So if I choose to add the short moniker list, I'll bring up my list, which is currently empty. But down here below, if I give this variable a name, I'll call it my condensate P for condensate pressure. And now I just click Add to short moniker list. And that has now been added to that list. So now what I need to do is I need to go and actually make that specifier. So I'll come into the gas stream now. And here on the Properties tab, where I had typed in 600, instead I want to replace that with a specifier. So I'm going to right click, create simple specifier, which brings up my specifier window. The first thing I'll do here is give my specifier a name. So this is my gas pressure specifier. And now here in the equation box, I can tell Promax what I want the gas pressure to equal. And I want the gas pressure to equal the condensate pressure which I will label as this variable condensate P. Once I have my equation written, I can come down to add my variable. So I'll click on this add variable button. And now if I come over here to the short monikers list, I will see that shortcut variable that I already created. So if I single click on this, we'll see it will already name it the same as my variable here. I can check that my units are correct. And now as I click add, that variable will show up, and Promax will recognize that in my equation. So this specifier is now saying that the gas pressure will always equal the condensate pressure. Looking back at my simulation, I also want the pressure in stream 3 to always equal the pressure in stream 2. For that same reason, as they mix together, they're going to need to be at the same pressure. So I'll also make a specifier in stream 3, making its pressure equal to the pressure in stream 2. First again, I'll go into stream number 2. And here on the pressure, even though it's currently not filled in, I can right click and add this to my short moniker list. I will call this pressure just P2. And now I will add that to my list as well. Now if I exit out of there and go into stream 3, here on my manually typed in pressure, I can right click and choose Create Simple Specifier. I'm going to name this specifier 
This is my stream three pressure specifier. And here in my equation box, I can tell it what stream three's pressure needs to equal. And it needs to equal the pressure of stream two, which I'll call P2. Now if I come down to add my variables, come over to my short monitors list, I'll see my variable P2 in my list now. Check that the name matches with my equation name. Check my units and I can click add. And now Promax will automatically make the stream three pressure equal to the pressure in stream two for me. So now if I go ahead and execute my project, we'll see that the stream three pressure is now 523, which is the same as the pressure in stream two. So, so far that's all I've done is created these specifiers, but I still haven't told Promax what I want my final pressure to be. You see now with those changes, our pressure is up to about 520. But let's say we want our final pressure to equal 550 PSIG. The way we can accomplish that is by having Promax control our condensate pressure to give us a condensate pressure that will result in our desired final pressure. And that's what a solver can do for us. So first thing I'm going to do before I create my solvers, I'm going to double click here on stream number five. I'm going to go to the pressure and once again, I'm going to right click and add this to my short moniker list as well. This will be my final pressure, which is stream five. So I'll just call that P5 and add that to my list. And now I can go back and actually create my solver. So to do that, I'm going to double click on my condensate stream. And over the pressure that I had manually typed in, I'm going to right click. And instead of creating a simple specifier, I'm now going to create a simple solver. Here in my simple solver window, again, the first thing I'll do is give it a name. So I'm going to call this my condensate pressure solver. And now here in my equation box, I need to write an equation that equals zero, since that's how our solvers work. And so what I want is the pressure of stream five to equal 550 PSIG. And so I can say the stream five pressure minus 550 equals zero. Now Promax will take that equation and force it to equal zero for me. So next I need to go and find my stream five pressure variable. I can click the add button, come over to my short monikers list, and there's my stream five pressure already for me. So I click add, my equation is now set up. Down here in my solver window, I need to make sure I have a calculated value guess meaning Promax will start by saying the condensate pressure is 600, and then it will adjust that number until it gets our desired final pressure. Now that I have this solver set up, I can come back and I can execute my project, and we will see Promax running through and updating the condensate pressure until we get the final pressure that we wanted. So once this simulation as solved, we'll get our final pressure of 550 PSIG. Promax has now calculated what our condensate pressure needs to be in order to, for us to achieve our final desired pressure. So we can see there how using specifiers and solvers, along with our short monikers to make life easy for us, we can optimize this pipeline to give us the results that we desire. So thank you for watching this video here today. As always, if you have any questions about Promax or any simulations you would like help with, feel free to call into our support line. Our phone number here at the office is 979-776-5220. Or you can email in to support at bre.com, and we will help you in any way that we can. So thank you.